If you're a beginner in WordPress, you might not know the power of plugins and how they can transform your website and give you tons of features and peace of mind. So in today's video, I'm going to cover seven of the most important plugins and plugin categories that you should cover on your website and how they can help you transform your WordPress experience. Let's begin. If you already understand what plugins are, just go to this timestamp directly so you can understand which plugins I'm going to talk about. But if you don't know what plugins are, let me give you a brief explanation. Plugins are like apps for your phone. So if you have an Android phone, you have an iOS device, you can always go to the App Store or the Play Store to download apps. And every app can give a new kind of functionality to your phone, right? So you can have uh, apps for social media, apps for different kinds of things, and apps that make your life easier when it comes to functionality. Plugins are the same, but when it comes to WordPress. So if you install a plugin on your WordPress website, it can give you tons of features, it can give you some security features, it can give you peace of mind or give you some access to things that were not possible or are not possible with the base version of WordPress. That's what plugins are. And similar to how apps are, some apps are free, some you have to pay for, some have a subscription. Plugins are also very similar. Some plugins are free, some are paid, or some have a subscription that you can pay for, and some are freemium as well. That means they have a free version and paid version. And of course, I'm going to be mentioning if the plugins I'm going to mention are free, paid, or have a freemium plan. So now that you understand what plugins are, let's start with what are essential plugins you should have on your WordPress website with number one. The first category of plugin or the first plugin that you should have on your WordPress website has to do with SEO or search engine optimization. Is the kind of things you have to do on your website to make sure or increase the probability that you rank higher in search engines. So the best plugin for SEO, in my opinion, is All-in-One SEO, also called AIO SEO for short. It's a fantastic plugin, has tons of features, has a completely free version as well. So you can go to the WordPress repository, install the plugin on your site and get started with it. I've done a lot of videos on this channel uh, describing what you can do with All-in-One SEO. Well, the basic set of features that you can start with is, hey, you can generate optimized titles, meta descriptions, automatically optimize them for all your content. Also optimize your posts for social sharing and all the different metadata that you need. You can also optimize your images, do local SEO, and do a lot of other things that WordPress natively doesn't support. And that's where all of SEO fills this gap. It's pretty easy to set, get started, easy to understand, easy to use. And of course, you can always go to our channel and search for AI SEO or SEO related videos, and you'll have lots of resources to understand how to use AI SEO. The link to AI or SEO, the free version, and also the premium version are in the description of this video. And also I leave a list in the pinned comments so you can easily access which plugins I'm talking about. So go, go install all in one SEO and let me know what your experience is in the comments. The next plugin everybody should have on a WordPress website has to do with security. Now, don't get me wrong, WordPress is quite secure out of the box, but installing a security plugin gives you additional features that might not be possible with the native version of WordPress. The plugin of choice is Sukri. We use it on WP Beginner and we've recommended it a lot of times. It's a fantastic plugin. You can think of Sukri as an antivirus, but for your website rather than your computer, and it does the same jobs. It'll monitor who's trying to log into your site and then give you reports on if malicious users try to log in site. It'll harden the security on your website by analyzing if any of the core files are being modified by end users. It'll keep an eye out for user accounts that have been created without consent and also just general behavior that malicious users can do if they gain access to your site. And of course, it'll also give you additional security updates that will give peace of mind. It has additional features as well. For example, you can set up two-factor authentication to log into your site so that you have to have a one-time password. So anytime you, get, you gain access to your own website or you want to log into your website, or if you get, get access or give access to other people to work on your website, you can rest assured that they are the ones actually logging in and the credentials are not being leaked or some malicious user has not gained access to your site. Similar to how I mentioned, Sukuri is also free or they have a free plan. They also offer premium uh, features in their premium plugins and also some additional features or services like hacked website recovery and other features or other services that you can check out from the link in the description. So let's talk about the third WordPress plugin that every website should have. Let me give you a scenario to understand the importance of this plugin. So let's say you have a WordPress website, of course, and then you forget your password. Pretty simple, right? You go to the login screen, click the forget password button, and then just enter your email and you should get an email. That, hey, this is a recovery link. Click on it and you can reset your password. But what if you never were able to get that email? That's what this plugin solves. So the problem with most WordPress websites is that they're not designed to send out email, right? It requires a specific set of infrastructure to send out emails. Now you might get these basic emails out of the box with WordPress websites, but more often than not, you might be in a scenario where you cannot actually send emails. So let's say if new users register to your site, 
they might not get an email to verify the account. If you change the email of administrator email of your website, you might not get an email. If you forget your password, you might not get an email. And the solution to this is actually use a plugin that lets you connect or lets your website connect with an SMTP service. So the plugin of choice in this matter is WP Mail SMTP. Once again, it is a free plugin. It also has premium features, but the basic job of the plugin is to let you connect to any SMTP service. The free version gives you limited choices on which SMTP services you want to use. So you can go and install the plugin, see the SMTP service, make a one-time connection, and your website will be able to send out emails using that SMTP service. For example, you can connect your website to use your own Gmail account to actually send out emails. I personally use uh, WMail SMTP, the premium version on my website, and I use Amazon SES as my email service of choice or SMTP of choice. So whenever I have to send out any kind of emails to my subscribers as well, I can just send out emails from my website and it's routed through Amazon and it's delivered. And I've, I've sent 5,000 emails in one go. It works perfectly. And this is my choice. Again, you don't have to use Amazon SES. You can use all the service providers or all the SMTP services that are supported by WMail SMTP and connect your website once and have peace of mind that all sorts of emails from your website will actually be sent out and delivered to your audience. So once again, it's a free plugin, free to get started. It's a premium version as well. So freemium plugin and the links to that will be in the description of this video. The next plugin of choice that every website should have is a backup plugin called Duplicator. Now imagine this, you've taken great pictures with let's say your smartphone of a great event in your life and suddenly you break your phone. You'd be disheartened that all the great pictures in your memory or in your life are lost. And that's why you have backups, right? You use Google Photos or if you're using an iPhone, you have iCloud to a limited degree that you can upload some pictures on the cloud which act as a backup to your precious memories. Now you can imagine the same thing, but for your website when it comes to Duplicator. It's a fantastic plugin. Once again, it's a free, free plugin, or at least it's a freemium plugin. There's a free version, and you can of course upgrade to the premium version. But the free version allows you to have all sorts of backups created. You can just install the plugin. It's very simple, it takes a few seconds, and you can go and manually create a backup. And the backup is now available on your site. It just takes a couple of minutes to get started. And then you can just download those backups onto your computer. So you can repeat the process daily, weekly, monthly, whatever you like, and you can have those backups saved on your computer. So if anything goes wrong with your website, you can always say, hey, this is the backup, let's restore the website. And if you like the plugin, I would recommend you upgrade to the pro version because the pro version gives you a lot of different features. Especially the feature I like is the cloud backup options and scheduling of backups. So you can set up schedules that, hey, backup my website daily or backup my website weekly or back it up monthly and then upload it to this cloud, let's say my Google Drive or Amazon SCS, not SCS, Amazon S3 storage or Dropbox or other service, or let me just download this to my computer. So you can have a variety of different schedules running, variety of cloud storage connected. So basically your website is being backed up without you having to do anything manually. So it's a lot of peace of mind and it's absolutely recommended for any website owner who's serious about preserving their website. So once again, the links to Duplicator and the Pro version will be in the description of this video and also in the pinned comment. So make sure to check them out, install on your website and check out our channel for more tutorials on how to use Duplicator. All right, let's talk about the next one. The next absolutely important plugin that every serious website owner should have is Monster Insights. Let me explain what the context is. So if you have a website that you're using for any kind of business, let's say you're trying to sell something, you are selling digital products, you're trying to uh, sell services, you're trying to get clients, or you have an e-commerce website, or any business goal or any monetary goal is associated with the website, then you want to understand analytics from your site. That means, hey, what are people doing? Are they enjoying this content? What are the paths they are taking? And all sort of thing, which helps you make intelligent data-driven decisions about what to do on your website. Now, there are free tools available to help you do this, understand this, and find this data. For example, Google Analytics, the biggest solution on the market, which is also free, you can completely use it with your website and give you the same data that I was talking about. The big challenge with Google Analytics is that it's very, very hard to configure and install on a site without professional help, especially for beginners. And that's the gap that Monster Insights fills. Monster Insights is not an analytics solution, it helps you connect with an analytics solution, which is Google Analytics. So it makes the process of installing, configuring, and setting up Google Analytics on your website absolutely easy. 
So you can install the plugin, set up a couple of things and Google Analytics will be installed. I'll give you a lot of reports directly in your WordPress dashboard, which makes it easy for you to understand what's going on, what are people doing, what are people seeing on your site and lots of other things. And now with the AI features in Monster Insights Pro, you can basically talk to your reports and say, hey, what was the performance of this page compared to last week? Hey, what is the most popular product that's selling? That sort of thing. Conversational language to understand your reports. All that is possible and made easy because Monster Insights makes it so. Google Analytics, absolutely great product, but not easy for beginners to understand and even configure your site. And Monster Insights completely changes that by making it absolutely easy, not only to configure Google Analytics, but also to understand the data and even talk to your data easily, easily, easily. All right, that's the next plugin. Again, the links are in the description. It's also a freemium plugin. The free version is there. There's a pro premium version as well. So make the comparison from the links in the description. Once again, let's talk about the next one. The next important plugin, which is a game changer for most beginners is WP Forms. Now WordPress has some forms built in HTML forms, but they're not feature rich. They're not great. They're not easy to actually create for beginners. So WP Forms changes the game. By introducing or giving you the ability to create all sorts of forms by using a drag and drop interface, which requires no coding at all. Once again, WP Forms is free. There's a pro version as well. If you would like to use some advanced features like AI forms, AI calculations, something like that. But the free version is absolutely great for get started. I use the free version, I think on my website. So what you have to do is just install WP Forms by going into the plugin repository, install it, and then go to the builder and you can start building out a form by just dragging fields. So you can say, hey, I want to collect the user's email, user's name, user's phone number, and I want to have this. And using WP Forms is actually so easy that even beginners can do it without any trouble. It's just simply drag and drop and setting up a plugin. And of course, we've done many videos on our channel about WP Forms. I've done a one hour tutorial so that I can explain all the features to you. So if you install WP Forms, you already always have the resources that can come to our channel, understand how to use the plugin, even though you might not need it, but still you have the resources if you want to use the features or you want to understand how WP Forms work. It's a fantastic plugin. It's a massive, I think it's the most popular Forms plugin on WordPress ever. So definitely check it out. Again, the links will be in the description. And again, as I said already, it's a freemium version or freemium plugin. So you have a free version, completely functional, and you can update to the pro version if you want more features, more powerful features. All right, again, links in the description. Let's talk about the next one. The next important plugin that every website owner should have has to do with compliance. Now, you know that if you build a website, you, you might have heard that, hey, there are so many regulations that you have to comply with, especially with data privacy law. You have GDPR, CCPA, and every country is coming up with their own data regulation and data privacy laws that you have to keep on top of to be compliant and not basically break the law. And the repercussions of breaking the law are intense. Meta has been fined probably a billion pounds or something for breaking these laws. And now your website might not be fined a billion pounds, but it's still a huge risk if you don't comply with this, especially if you're doing cross-border uh, commerce or selling products online or anything like that. Now, there are existing solutions in the market that help you comply, but they are either expensive, clunky, or they don't work as advertised. There are a lot of challenges. The best plugin or the best service I've found, basically it's a plugin that I've found that works the best is WP Consent. It's a plugin specially designed for WordPress. And of course, by the name, you can understand what it does. It helps you comply with all these regulations and laws. And it has a free version, which allows you to do a lot of different things and comply with all sorts of regulations. And the best part about using WP Consent is that you don't need to have developer level skills to actually configure the plugin, which a lot of different plugins have. So you can set up the plugin, you can have easily just do everything and the plugin does most of the heavy lifting for you. It'll find all the services that you're using that need to be in compliance and then tell you that, hey, this is a marketing uh, service or this is a essential service and auto categorize, we can configure. And the banner also that it, it places on the website is completely customizable. You can change the button stakes, text colors, everything, positioning as well. So you can completely understand and say everything is under control and it's easy to use and it's also very powerful. That means it gets the job done and it can be used by beginners. So you don't have to worry about like, hey, do I, what kind of skills I need to actually use this plugin. So it's a well-rounded package and we use it on all our websites. You can see if you go to WP Beginner right now and if you have not visited the website in a while, you will see a cookie plugin or pop-up here, which is by WP Consent. So it's pretty amazing. It's a super plugin. You can go check it out again. It's a freemium plugin. So it's a, there's a free version and there's also a premium version if you want to comply with more regulations that have more control. And all of that, uh, the links will be in the description of this video. And I want to mention one more plugin before I go as a bonus, which is Seed Prod, which is a landing page builder and theme builder. So if you want to build a landing page on a site for any kind of, let's say, you want to capture email addresses or you want to say, give away something or running a special campaign, then you can use Seed Prod to create landing pages. If you use the pro version of Seed Prod, 
you can actually completely customize your theme as well. So if you're using e-commerce or WooCommerce, you can customize your theme. If you have a regular website, you can cust completely customize your theme using Seed.pro. The free version is free, of course, and you can create endless or unlimited landing pages just by scratch. I've just done a video on how to build a landing page on your WordPress website in five minutes. I'll play that video here. So if you want to understand how Seedpro is powerful, then you can check out this video. And if you want to understand what WP Consent does, then there's another video on the screen which you can check out. And by the way, if you don't know how to manage a WordPress website, we also offer pro services on WP Beginner. There'll be a link here somewhere here on the screen, which will take you to the pro services page that also you can check out. Once again, you're watching Yuvraj from WP Beginner. If you like this video, like it, subscribe, do all that good stuff. So I can see you in the next video very, very soon. Take care.